my pre-k kids since we're studying sea life and i know a lot of you have expressed an interest in sharks and whales i thought i'd do a little bit little lesson on sharks and whales so i have some plastic figurines of sharks and whales first we're going to look at them and see if we can figure out what kind they are can you look at this one and look at the markings it's yellow with black markings what kind of shark do you think this one is? It's called a tiger shark because it kind of looks like a tiger. Here's one of the bigger, more dangerous sharks. Does anybody know what kind this is? It's called a great white shark. It's not really white, it's mostly gray, but it's called a great white shark. Hmm, what distinctive feature does this shark have? Can you make a guess at what it might be named? It's called a hammerhead shark because its head looks like a hammer. Hammerhead shark. Any guesses for this one? I thought I might call it a spotted white shark, but it's actually called a whale shark. I guess because its snout looks more like a whale. It has a rounded snout rather than a pointed snout. Some people thought it looked like a whale, I guess, so they called it a whale shark. How about this one? Any, make a guess what you think the name might be. It's just called a blue shark because it's blue. <laughs> so this is a blue shark. Here's a tinier shark. It's smaller than most. It has really sharp teeth. It hangs out in shallower water. It's called a reef shark because it hangs out on the coral reefs and in shallower waters. A reef shark. So if we look at all the sharks, what do they all have in common? What, how are they the same? Well, they all have two fins on the top, a big one up in the middle of their back and a little one up by their tail. So they all have two fins on top and underneath they have these two little fins that are on both sides and they have a little fin right underneath too. They all have two front fins and if you look at their tails, all their tails form almost like a C. So they have similar tails. That's how you tell a shark from a whale is that it has a distinctive tail that looks like a sea. So how many fins all together on these sharks? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess let's count this as one, eight. So they have like eight fins. And if you can see up close, they have lots of gills here, big slits. Gills, that's where they take in water. And the oxygen that's dissolved in the water gets filtered out in the gills and passed across the gills and goes into their bloodstream to get oxygen. And when they breathe out, just like you, they breathe out carbon dioxide. So they're, they're mammals, sharks are mammals, so they're like humans in that regard, in that they breathe in oxygen, it gets into their bloodstream, goes through their heart and lungs, 
and then they breathe out carbon dioxide. <clears throat> sharks usually have really sharp teeth. Some of you have seen sharks' teeth. They have, these models don't show it, but they have several rows of teeth in there. So if they bite down on something or if they're losing their teeth and growing new ones, they'll lose a tooth and they'll grow a, a brand new one right where the tooth fell out. So they're not like people in that regard as they can keep growing their teeth. And they have several, one, two, three, or four rows of teeth in there that are very, very sharp. So when they're old or when they fall out, um, they just grow new ones. I think the hammerhead shark's kind of cool because its eyes are out at the end of the hammers. The eyes aren't really in front. The eyes are right out at the ends of the hammer. So they probably have to turn to be able to see what they're doing. So that's about all I know about sharks. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you that there are different kinds and people gave them common names because of what they looked like. Now, I have some whales here for you too. I have two different kinds of whales. This whale kind of looks like a shark, but it's not. What do you notice that's different about this whale compared to this shark? What's the same and what's different? Well, they both have this top fin on the very top, but the whale doesn't have a second fin on the top. It just has the one, the one fin on top. And not all whales have that fin on the top. And then they have the two front fins, just like a shark, the two front fins, but they don't have all these other extra fins. And the tails are a different shape. You'll notice the shark is more like a C. I'd say the whale tails look more like a mustache. So sharks have a lot more fins. So if it has a lot of fins, what did we count? Eight? Um, that's so they can swim fast and swim in circles. Whales only have these two front fins and a big tail fin, and some of them have a back fin. Here's another kind of a whale. See, it has the two front fins and the tail. Looks like it has the mustache looking tail, but it doesn't have a top fin. So not all whales have that top fin. This one is called an orca whale. These are the kind of whales that live out here just outside of Padilla Bay around the islands. If you take a ferry out around the islands in the summer, you might see orca whales out there feeding. We have the J-pod is the pod of whales that hangs out <clears throat> and eats salmon out off of our shores. It's black and white. It has this big fin. This is called the dorsal fin. And it'll oftentimes jump up and you can see them. And remember whales, they breathe through a hole. They breathe kind of like humans have a nose. Whales have a hole on the top of their head. And when they come up for air, they open that hole, take in a deep breath, and then close the hole and can dive back down. So they're, that's how they're different from sharks too. Sharks have gills and the oxygen transfer is across the gills. Here, whales, again, are mammals just like humans and they have a breathing hole. So they have to come up for a breath and then they can go back down. But they have to keep coming up to get a breath. And that's why um, it's easy to spot the orcas plus this big dorsal fin. And each orca has a different kind of fin on the top and that's how they give them their names. All of our J-pod whales have names based on what their top dorsal fin looks like. This whale has teeth. All sharks have teeth, and sharks have rows of teeth. Whales have one set of teeth that go all the way around, and they're pretty sharp. But the other kind of whale, this whale, is called a baleen whale. And if you look close, it doesn't have any teeth. It just has these long strings hanging down, and that's called baleen. 
So there's really two different classes of whales. Baleen whales and whales with teeth. Um, the ones with teeth, what do you think they eat? Do you guys know what orca whales eat? They have teeth like a dinosaur. The dinosaurs that were, had teeth were called carnivores because they were meat eaters. So orca whales are meat eaters and they only like to eat Chinook salmon. That's the only thing they like to eat. One thing, Chinook salmon. So that's what they're always looking for out in the ocean is the Chinook salmon. Now, baleen whales, on their other hand, they don't have any teeth. They have these long strands of, I don't know, it, it's, it feels stiff like a brush, like a broom. It looks like a broom, all this baleen. They eat phytoplankton. And phytoplankton is a microscopic little organism that lives in the ocean. And there's all kinds of plankton. And I'm going to show you some pictures of plankton. I was hoping that we went when we went on our Padilla Bay field trip, I could get a sample and that we could look at these under the microscope, but we're not going to be able to look at them under the microscope. So I've got some coloring sheets that I'll give you in a later lesson. But these whales are pretty big and they go through and they eat phytoplankton and they can also eat little tiny fish called krill, little tiny fish that they don't have to chew. They just scoop them up, take a big mouthful, squirt the water out, and then swallow the fish. So there's two kinds of whales. The orca whale that we're familiar with and the baleen whale. Um, baleen whales typically live in um, warmer climates, I think, where there's lots of little fish and phytoplankton. Phytoplankton means it needs um, a lot of sun to grow the plankton. So that's what I know about sharks and whales. If you have any of these little toys at home, you might want to put a little <clears throat> habitat together for your sharks or whales. You could take a plastic bin, put some rocks in, and put some water in, and play with your whales like a sensory table. Or better yet, take them in the bathtub and have some fun. See you next time.